Hello everyone and welcome to part three of bedroom makeover. If you haven't seen part one and part two, definitely go and watch that. But essentially I'm trying to add some more colour into my very, very, very beige bedroom. So I'm going to go over what we did in the last part and then show you what we're working on in this episode. So we changed the bed sheets into this funky gingham pattern bed sheets. The wallpaper is going to come down in the previous episode, in the next episode, and white walls are going to be painted. These shelves I have decorated with some more colourful prints. I just swapped out a couple of them and put in my Disney print and then another Disney print, and then just added in some pops of colour in the decor. Um, on the windowsill, we swapped out my normal candles for some swirly colourful candles from Dunelm. One of the biggest changes we've done is I've added in this IKEA Pax wardrobe and swapped out for my old one. My old one was just too small and wasn't really practical with actually storing stuff. We organised the inside of this and now that is all nice and tidy. We put up my gorgeous, beautiful chandelier that still needs a little bit of work. We've got this little bit of foam as a spacer and I need to paint that or cover that. I need to work out what I'm doing with it. Um, but she is a beautiful chandelier and was a bit of a pain to do. So that was quite stressful. We've added in a couple of bits of bric-a-brac or home decor, like these bowls, the candles, just to keep it looking fun. The desk is something I do want to change um, and sort out. I'm thinking I might just make another tabletop for it that's a bit more of an organic pattern and maybe paint it green. I'm thinking green. I do kind of need to keep these drawers and they're really practical for storage, um, but I can kind of swap out other bits. The mirror is still the same, but I do want to put kind of a funky edge around it. Potentially get to that in this episode, not quite sure. The hooks and the plants are probably staying. I might just change out the plant pots. I do want to get a new rug, excuse the socks. This we're going to paint in a separate um, episode as well. I essentially want to take off the mirrors and paint a fun mural on this wall. I think I'm going to get my friends involved and hopefully it'll be a nice, fun project. But today I've woken up and I have made this little light switch cover just out from my Cricut it took a lot longer I think my Cricut's on its way out um it's not gonna go too close because I don't really see the imperfections but in conclusion I cut out a flower and put that around my light switch as a cute little decor detail I do also want to change out this stool and get like a funky chair and I think that is all the stuff I want to do oh and I want new bedside tables these are odd and I don't like them anymore. I want to change them out. So new beds, tables, new lamps, etc. Unfortunately though, this is somewhat of a waiting game. I've got my friend scheduled to come out and paint at some point um, in a couple of weekends time. So that's great, but I kind of have just got to wait till then. I've got a mirror I want to upcycle, which you would see in the first part that's gonna go above my bed once it's painted. So that's again, something I kind of have to wait for. Um, I do want to swap out the handles in my wardrobe, but I'm not quite sure if I'll ever get to that. Um, and yeah it's a waiting game as well because i'm trying to source everything second hand so i've got to just wait on facebook marketplace until i see something that will come up that i can use that i can upcycle that i can hopefully just put in rather than having to upcycle it um so there's a couple of projects that hopefully will get done in this video but i'm not quite sure which okay so i've just popped to the shops and i picked up this roll of tape i think this might solve my chandelier problem so i'll show you what the problem is and what we need to solve essentially for a spacer we had to put in this bit of foam but if you can see all of the kind of the hardware for this is actually red i know this red is slightly brighter but i think it will fade over time anyway um we also need to close up this bit of foam because on the other side there is an opening i'm thinking with this red tape i can wrap it around and hopefully it will kind of give the illusion of being closed completely painted and look fine i think it's just going to disguise it a little bit that worked absolutely perfectly i might try and tarnish it a little bit and basically make it look a bit dirtier so it matches but i actually think it looks Perfect. Looks really good. Really happy with it. So first job done. So for my mirror, I am thinking I am going to cut this into a funky wavy shape. Cut out kind of the hole for the mirror. And then basically on these side bits, attach kind of peel and stick Velcro all the way down and just Velcro it on. It means it's not a permanent solution. I can take it off and change it if I want to. Then I'm going to paint this kind of probably a pink colour. Um, I'm hoping I can cut this with an X-Acto knife. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, but that's today's job. Okay, so I've traced out the shape I want. I'm not gonna lie, it's not really gonna pick up on camera. Um, I outlined the mirror first, I laid the mirror on it and then outlined it. And then I'm gonna keep the edge square. I'm not sure if I want all of this, but for now I am just gonna cut out kind of the middle section and just cut off this excess at the top. Um, and that's what we're working with so far. Spirit level and a knife, I'm not sure that's gonna cut it, but hopefully it will.
Guys, when I tell you I'm proud of this, I'm so proud of this. I just need to sand some of the imperfections down, but my little cute little wavy mirror is coming along so nicely. I've just let it up for now. I am gonna like secure it, but I also need to paint it first. Hello everybody, it is the next day. I have put three coats of paint on my pink squiggly mirror surround. And I'm just going to fix it on now. But first, oh no, I'm gonna show you what I got later. I will pick someone face mark, guys, it's amazing. Let's do the mirror first, let's focus. Okay, so she's on. She's pretty. I ended up just using Velcro. I thought that was the easiest way. So I stuck on one half of the Velcro on there. And I stuck the Velcros kind of the hook and the loop. I stuck them together. Because I thought, how am I going to position it right? So I just stuck them to the thing and then just pushed it on. That didn't make sense. You guys know what I mean. There is some infections. Like I do need to kind of sand around the edges to make it look perfect. But... I love her, she's great. And this outfit looks super funky with her in the background. But I'm gonna show you what I picked up for my plant. Plant is currently in a wicker basket. I'm gonna take that one out. Oh my gosh, it's covered in dust. And I'm gonna put it straight into this plant pot, which has got my teeth in. Wow, this is the most chaotic clip ever. This plant into this. Hope that doesn't look too ridiculous. But I thought it goes with the colour palette more. This is three pounds from Powerland. I would have brought a second hand one but I just couldn't put any in the size I needed so I'm gonna put that back where it was next to the mirror and I just think that looks slightly better colour wise but definitely need to fill it out and make it look more full actually in the pot so now the mirror is in and looking super funky I wanted to change this stall into something that just made my heart happy at one point this did make my heart happy but it no longer does it's not super comfortable I can't sit here for long periods of time and uh, I wanted something more comfy and more funky and that is where this piece came in. So this was £20. I got this on my Facebook marketplace. It is a cow chair. Have I sat on it yet? No. Is it going to fall apart when I sit on it? Let's hope not. It's a cow chair. So I got it for £20 on Facebook marketplace. It's literally in Brentwood. So right around the corner. Was a bit of a pain to pick up just because she lives in like a gated fancy flats basically. But... She pretty, there's nothing wrong with her. I feel like she'll need a little clean up maybe, um, but nothing major and she's beautiful. So this is gonna go on my desk and I feel like this is really starting to come together. Okay, it has been a couple of days later since the chair and the mirror were in. But I did pick up something really cute today, so I want to show you what I picked up. I've had got two things that are quite cute. Um, and that is probably going to be the end of this segment or this episode of Room Makeover. So, the thing I picked up today, let me turn my camera around, is this absolutely stunning sort of wavy candle holder. I love this. I basically walked past the window of a charity shop, kind of peered in as I always do, and this is sitting pride of place. Now I had seen someone upcycle a like tall candlestick, and I was like, I love that. For I need to keep an eye out. I was looking on Facebook, and I found this for four pound fifty from St Luke's Hospice. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to keep it there, but I do kind of like it there. I think the waviness of the mirror with the waviness of that looks really cool. So I absolutely love that. And to continue with the waviness vibes, if you see my haul, I'm not sure if it's coming out yet or if it's coming out next week. I picked up three of these IKEA sort of just squiggly vases. These cost me £3.50 from Cats Research and I got three of them. And I just think the vibes are all coming together. Just the vibe the vibe is coming together and I'm just I'm getting really excited about it it's made me really happy I must admit there's points where I'm like have I made a really big mistake should I have not made it colorful and I definitely think with the wall becoming white and I kind of also think because I'm doing it in stages where I haven't got all of the stuff it's making me actually think about my decisions and probably take longer than if I had time I might just do everything and then not love everything because initially thinking of having this as a really bright color but i'm now thinking i might not like it's it's evolving and i like that so that's the end of today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up comment what your favorite new feature is in the room subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you on my next one bye